What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the day after our first defeat of the season and it's a, it's an ugly defeat, you know, it's a, <clears throat> it's a worrying defeat. I know uh, Mota, Perin and all the players tried to put it in, into perspective post-game and said basically we will learn from this and, you know, we had a complete off day, so on, so on, but it it's by the looks of it, you know, we all watched <clears throat> the game and we watched football for a while. It doesn't feel like it's a one-off. It feels like we hit a wall at the moment. And the wall is players are not 100% fit. You know, we have injuries and things are not going as smoothly as we hoped they would go. You know, based on previous performances. That's a reality of the matter. So it is a reality check. However, you cannot sit back now and be like, oh, what are we going to do? You need to pick yourself up and Inter is on Sunday. And you need to be ready. So we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about the player ratings and what post-game uh, was set. Uh, because it's an important moment in our season. But before we do that, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification as well. And let's talk about, you know, a reality check. Okay, so it's the first loss of the season. And normally... Um, Normally, I, I'm I'm composed. Like I can put, I I can, I can accept, I can accept, excuse me, I can accept defeats. I can accept a bad performance. I have like I understand it's football. It happens. You can have bad performances. <clears throat> you can have a defeat. Like it's it's normal. It's part of the game, you know. And I'm fully aware of that. I'm also fully aware of that we are in a complete overall. It's a new coach. A lot of new players going completely different to last season and we we had a very good start to the season still despite this defeat but you also need to put things into perspective as well you know the performance was extremely worrying you know it wasn't a uh, one two players messed up you know and that's why we lost the game Douglas Luiz and Flavic against Cagliari oh, that's why you lose the game it wasn't that type of performance it wasn't like individually players weren't good, but as a team, the system, we had no answers. We got outplay, outplay for 90 minutes at home, and we had no clue how to counteract counteract that. That is a massive worry because going to uh, the Meazza on Sunday is going to be more difficult than playing Stuttgart at home. It is, you know, and you, you will need to deal with tough situations and you will need to be able to adapt to these tough situations. And right now, the feeling is, and it's not just one game, it was kind of building up a little bit, that we do not have a lot of solutions, you know. And post-game, Mota took full blame, and he should be taking blame of it because he needs to come with the answers. Because, it, again, individually, players were not playing well yesterday, 100%. That's true, we know that. You know, we cannot <clears throat> erase that. However, it wasn't about just about the individuals, like... As a coach, when you see you're getting outplayed, you need to come with solutions, different setup, you know, tweak things. And he, he didn't really, he, he, he tried to do that, put up, pull out Flaovic, and we'll talk about that. You know, play Yildiz up front, put um, Wea and Cambiasso, try to link up, you know, when overlaps and so on. But there was no real reaction, and uh, that's on coaching. That's as simple as that, you know. Uh, but the player ratings, I gave Pirin, Pirin a 10 because... Yeah, I mean, if it weren't for him, we would have lost, I don't know, 3 4 nil no, easily because they missed some uh, some clear-cut chances. You know, the pen save, couldn't save that last one. That was just way too much, you know. Um, he was he was excellent. I feel for him because after that type of performance, at least we should be walking away with a point that, you know, and, and it leaves Perin with a very good feeling. You know, I helped the team get a point in a, in a horrible game, you know, for us. At least we got the point. We couldn't even be able to do that, and that's also an issue for me, you know. We need to understand moments. At that moment in time, 10 men, you were absolutely horrible. You need to get that point over the line. We need to learn that, you know, and it's a very young team. I get it, you know, and there will be, there will be these situations will occur. They will happen, but we need to accept certain moments in the game. We need to accept that we're not going to win that game. Just take the point and run with it. We didn't accept that. And that is, for me, also a, a slight worry. I'm not going to lie. Um, or like a worry, like a working point. And um, a bit sad that we didn't, didn't understand uh, that moment. Uh, Savona, uh, five. I thought uh, I thought he had a bad game. Um, <clears throat> he struggled. 
Um, not the only one, but he really struggled defensively. You know, going forward, lost possession quite a lot. Couldn't beat his man. <clears throat> like every, like a lot of things he did was just going wrong. You know, it it wasn't like at a high level playing today. You know, and um, he couldn't keep up with that. Was just a reality. So five, Kalulu five and a half. Um, again, I don't think he had a horrible game, but that last goal, I I don't know. I feel like. You should be getting a bit closer. I'm, I'm not like, I don't want to slate him, but the way we play, like we conceded so much. And most of that was because the midfield couldn't stop a cold. You know, they couldn't stop a cold. They, they just kept coming and coming and coming and coming. And it, it's difficult to defend, but I cannot give uh, defenders a good rating in that type of performance. Danilo won. Um, won because he's done. At this level, these type of games, he's done. Maybe he can play against Lecce at home until January, until we find a solution uh, for a center back position. Um, and I praised him against Lazio because he changed, he helped change the game. He really did. And I was like, cool, yeah, he can play against Stuttgart. And I tried to put trust in him, but man, he's he's so finished. He has been finished for ages. Like he's, he hasn't been good since the city days. I don't know why people. Tried to convince me he's been a good captain, a good leader, a great player. It's actually, it's actually embarrassing and shocking that we ever had that conversation. You know, he's never, he was never good. You know, he's done. Um, <clears throat> he got lucky with the goal that gets disallowed. Brain fart, you know, uh, at the end, giving away the pen, red card. Like, it's just, oh man, he's just, he's done. Like, it's as simple as that. He, he's done. <clears throat> and right now, it feels like we have some sort of discipline issue as well with the red cards and so. But uh, yeah, one, he was horrible. Um, Cabal, five and a half. I thought I thought he was better in the second half. In the first half, I thought he struggled with picking up his position at times, you know. Um, it kind of gave me flashbacks to the first uh, half against Roma. Uh, picked it up in the second half, but yeah, d- didn't have the type of game against Lazio. And that's kind of what you will get with Cabal right now. Um, that's why I think... He's still not a fixed starter uh, for Mota. I think he deserved to start today, you know, based on that Lazio game. But I don't think he had a good game, to be honest. So, um, five and a half. For Jolly, five and a half. And maybe that's a bit too much. Uh, because in that first half, he was he was horrible, man. I know pre-game, Mota said he has all the tools to potentially be a great player to carry this team into a direction. Because it all needs to start with him. And my issue with Fajoli is I like him. But he has Leipzig games or these type of games. There's no in-between. He's extremely inconsistent. You know, the highs are extremely high and the lows are are very low, you know. And he needs to find a balance because right now in these games, we did need a very consistent Fajoli. And if that was not the case, then the entire midfield was gone and that was the case as well. The midfield was gone. I don't think he had a good game. Five and a half. McKenny five. I, yeah, he had a poor game. Um, I don't know if he was 100% fit. I don't think he looked fresh. Um... Never in the game, to be honest. Late on it, basically everything, you know. Yeah, man, just, just, just a bad, bad, bad game for him. Turam five and a half. He had good moments, but technically he had a very poor game. The thing that we need from Turam, especially in that game, was impose his, his physique, you know, and the way he can actually take two, three steps and he's gone with the ball. He did that a couple of times, but not enough. It wasn't consistent, and at times it looked a bit awkward, you know in possession so I don't think he had a good game as well you know the entire midfield they just they struggle you know they got absolutely bullied that's just the reality of it Concesavo five and a half didn't have a good game tried you know tried to beat his uh, opponent didn't really happen uh, too much however I don't think he should be should have been subbed you know that's just my opinion but let's be honest he didn't have a good game um Yildiz um yeah not a good game and actually I've like, I thought he had worse games uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, because right now, like, he actually did beat his man a couple of times. But I'm g- giving him a five because that moment where it was nil-nil and Atsic put that one on a plate, I have no idea what Yildiz was thinking because he just needed to sit. That's the only thing he needed to do. That's the only thing Atsic could have done in that position. And for some reason, in the last seconds... He decides, you know what, I'm going to make a run towards Atsic. And gone chance, gone 1-0. Because if he just stayed where he should have stayed, 
that would have been the easiest goal he will ever score in his career, and you probably steal that game, you know. But he wasn't good, you know. So five Vlaovic, five and a half. Um, there, there was nothing. <laughs> there was absolutely nothing. I hate that we hoofed the ball up to him and hope that he will make it stick. I, I hate that we did that. We had no choice. I get it because we didn't have solutions to play between the lines and get that ball to Vlaovic, but. We had no chance again. Like, there's no chance we don't get into the box a couple of weeks now that I've been saying that. We don't get into the box, especially at home for some reason. And again, like, if you don't give the ball a striker in and around the box, then, I mean, it's hard to rate him. It's hard to give out a rating to any striker if if a team struggles to get him the ball in scoring positions. So, uh, five and a half. Uh, we are. Uh, actually, when he came on, I did... I think he did better than than I would have imagined. You know, he actually used his pace. He overlapped uh, a couple of times with Cambiaso, which kind of caused Stuttgart some issues, um, especially compared to the nothing, non-issues we created before that. So I gave him a six. Cambiaso, I gave Cambiaso five and a half because I thought the goal we conceded, I it was a bit too soft defending. You know, he wants to go, but he pulls back. He was just late, you know. Um, so he's part of the at fault for that goal he was just late he wasn't really paying attention enough and that's why we not concede that goal but that's why it, it, the goal the, the the goal that we concede was look uh, was made look extremely easy so uh yeah i, I need i need to i need to look at that i'd say five and a half didn't really get involved in the play let's be honest you know um it was one of those games where whatever sub you made i was like it's the entire team. It's just Stuttgart. They're bopping around. It was a tactical issue more so than a technical issue, in my opinion. Uh, Locatelli, five and a half, same. Not much that I like. The subs were like, I would have kept on Vlaovic and Concesao, but even then, I was like, maybe we could have done something more, a little bit more. And when you added uh, a Cambiasso to it and maybe an Oxygen behind, but other than that, I was like, this is more about Sutka just outplaying us. So that's why I gave Malta a four because you failed and he owned up to it. He didn't have a solution. He didn't found a solution. And we just kept on doing the same thing and kept on getting a boss by Sutka. That's just a reality. And this is a reality check. However, like everybody said post game, players and coach, you cannot cry about it. It's done. Like it's done. You have Inter on Sunday. You don't have Gonzalez. You don't have Colt Miners. You cannot complain about that because that's the reality right now. And you need to deal with it. You are going to play... Probably Douglas Luiz is not fit. You are going to play Fajoli and McKenney. They are going to play. They're going to need to play better. That's the reality. Konsasau is going to need to play better. That back line is going to need to play better. In possession, we need to be better. That's it. You know, that's just the reality of it. You cannot... You can analyze the game, but I think the anal uh, to analyze that Stuttgart game is going to be easy. It's going to be very easy. So do not sit on it too much because Inter is a massive game and you cannot lose two games in a row, especially not in the way we lost that Stuttgart one and especially not this moment because we have more tough games coming up. You cannot now dig a hole into it, uh, dig a hole and actually you know, get stuck into it. It's a very sticky situation. It's a very key moment. And we need to overcome this. You know, the goods are good, but now it's a bad period, bad moment. And you need to overcome that. It's a young team. You need to learn. But that's why everybody's here, I guess. So, uh, yeah, it hurts. First defeat of the season, especially in the way it comes. But, you know, it's, it is it is what it is. You need to move on. We will talk about it later tonight for a live show. And then we'll move on to prep and preview that Inter game, which is going to be massive. But let me know in the comments what you think. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will speak to you guys later tonight. Ciao.